Hello guys, what is going on? English LP here. Today with a new let's play. We are playing Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar for the DS. Uh, so let's jump straight into this. So we're starting a new game. We don't have Wi-Fi unfortunately. And let's make a new save file. So I wanted to let's play this game uh, a time ago. I'm very excited for this game. I've played this game before. It was one of my favorite Nintendo games at the time. So we will be a male character. Yes. Male character and female, there is a difference in this game, not in Pokemon, but in this game there is because you can actually marry. And you can marry obviously with a, a female. I don't think you can marry a male with a male. But I don't know for sure. Nah, looks great. For a DS game. And windmill. And the music, man. It sounds so. so farmish. So related to the game. Is that our house? I guess it is. No, it isn't. So the game is basically showing us some uh, some screens from the game itself, I guess. And this should be the bazaar itself. Ah, we're finally here. This is your new home, Sefer Town. Sorry, what was your name again? Alright, so we have to uh, type in our name. And I hope English LP will fit. Uh, no, I don't think it will fit. Uh, let's see, the G. In. Let's do it like this. Alright, this should do the job. Angle LP, you say? Yeah, why not? What a fine name. Now then, when were you born? So, you can't really put your real birth uh, in this sort of calendar because there are only sort of four months. Each month is represented by a season. Uh, but we picked the cool season, the summer, because summer is happy and everybody's dancing. Uh, let's go for 26. So your birth, birthday is summer 26. Yes, it is in this game, actually. Ah, the town is quite a sight, that time of a year. Oh, my name is Felix, by the way. Hello, Felix. I'm the, ma I'm the mayor of this humble town. I'm glad to see young folks like you getting involved in farming. It's great to ha it's great to have you, English LP. Yay. Take a look, English LP. This is the entrance into town as well as the side of our bazaar. Once a week, the citizens in town set it up to attract visitors. Many things are sold, and the customers always leave happy. So it's giving us a tour through the bazaar, the main thing in this Harvest Moon that isn't in, not in other Harvest Moon, uh, Harvest Moons. Beautiful. <laughs> so later in the game we will be able to sell uh, our items uh, at the bazaar and we will be able to buy items at the bazaar. And that's the, actually the way how you make money in this game. You can make uh, yes, another way to make money in this game. But this is one of the best ways to make money. Yes, unfortunately, your face says it all, English LP. This bazaar used to be much grander event. Our once world famous bazaar has now just become a small market. If things continue like this, this bazaar might even close for good soon. But as the mayor, I can't stand idly by and watch this happen. I must do something. 
English LP. I would like you to open a store at our bazaar. Oh, that sounds awesome. You could sell products from your farm. And the better your products, the more you will be able to sell. You will earn fame as a great farmer and you will be helping the town. Isn't that a great idea? You will help us out, right, English LP? Of course I will. Obviously I will. Sounds fun to me. Fantastic! I knew you would say yes. That laugh though. <laughs> Remember, everyone in town is counting on you to help us, English LP. Now then, let me show you where you will be stay uh, where you will be staying. So we're going to a farm. If I'm right, yes. So this is our farm with a light blue roof. We actually have the most space of all people in town. So no, this there will be plants that we can grow. It's just a random tree. And there's a windmill to our left. Here it is, your farm. First, you should choose a name for it. Pick any name you like. Mm, excuse me. So, you can actually give it a name. Um, and I... I think I've got the right name. It isn't anything creative or something. LP Farm. So let's play Farm. Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's do that. That's a great name. Thank you, Felix. Fitting for such a fine farm. First, why don't you try moving around your farm? Just use the control pad. Use the L button to switch between walking and running. Press the A button to jump. Press it again when you are in the air to double jump. When you're done exploring, press the B button while standing next to me. Those are the basics. You got it? Got it, man. Great, I will be waiting in front of your house. So let's take a... Let's take a closer look to our farm. So we can actually move. Yay. We can jump, double jump. So this is our windmill. Uh, this will be unlocked later in the game. And you can make a wine in there. If, I'm, if I remember. So here you can harvest your plants and you can make a nice drawing so we can run so you can actually pick up this if I'm right if I know what how alright let's screw that screw that so here will be our chickens double jump the win and uh, it's pretty empty still, but we have we haven't done anything in the story, so this will be all nice and tidy. So can we go in here? No, we can't. No, we can't. And this Felix. Great, you are able to talk to me. <laughs> By the way, did you notice the bee button icon that was floating above me? That icon indicates people you can talk to and things you can examine. Also. Did you notice the branch that was on the ground? Go near the branch and you should see a B button icon above it this time. When you see the icon, press the B button. Go ahead, try it. Oh, so that's why we couldn't pick it up the first time. So we've got it. Well done! That's how you pick up items. Now, if you were to press the B button again, you would throw it. You would throw the branch. But if you press the Y button, you will put it in your bag. Try it out, put the branch in your bag, then talk to me when you're done. So, we've put it in our bag. So that's how you scavenge 
uh, things from the ground, I guess. Ah, I see you put the branch in your bag. To check your bag, press the X button. Here, look at the touchscreen below. Or to the right of me. You can do many things while checking your bag. The control pad moves the cursor and the A button selects. If you select tiles, you will lose the item permanently. Careful now. Press the B button to close your bag. Go ahead and do that now. Alright. That's it. That's the basics about how to use your bag. Now, let's take a look around your house. Haven't we done that then? Alright, so we're basically in our house. And this is sort of options menu. This is your house, English LP. Let me show your storage room now. Come, follow me. You will call your Felix. This is the storage room. Take a look inside. We will. We will. Oh, so you can't actually go in it. You have to. You have a sort of menu in the on the screen of the Nintendo. So let's let's take a look at Felix says. Use the storage room to hold items where your bag is full. Fruit, milk, and other perishable items will last longer in storage as well. The control pad moves the cursor, and the A button selects, just like your bag. If you want to leave storage, just press the B button. Go ahead, try it. Alright, so we're leaving the storage. Oh, okay, that, look, we can change from our bag to our storage and the other way around. That's really nice. You don't need branch right now, so... And that's about everything you need to know. Ah, there is one other thing that I would like to show you. This basket here is very useful. Anything you put in here is automatically sent to storage. Convenient, no? Just toss an item into the basket and it will be sent to, st to storage. It's, it's that simple. Mm, excuse me. But if your storage is full, you can't add items. You can also pick the basket up and move it so it's sure to be useful. That sounds nice. So we can actually throw things and it will <laughs> it will go into a storage magically. Well, I'm sure you're pretty tired by now. Just stand next to your bed and press the B button when you want to go to sleep. You can check out the bookshelf or the kitchen before you go to bed. Also, your calendar shows you when festivals will be taking place. Take a look. Well, I will be on my way then. Good night, English LP. Bye for now, Felix. The Mayor. So. We have now full control of uh, our character, English LP. So let's take a look at this. This is the calendar. Each year is made up of four seasons. So that they are, there are four sort of months, four seasons. Use it to find out when there are special events or when someone's birthday is. You can also check when the bazaar is being held. Yes. So you have, uh, we are in spring now, the first day of spring. And you know, if you go over the calendar you can see uh, B for, uh, for bazaar day. There is almost every week a bazaar as you can see. And that's the big market where we can sell things and buy things. We have all those little stars, uh, those stars represent sort of festivals that you can participate in. Uh, they are all different. We have those little birthday cakes. They are basically uh, uh, birthdays of people who live in town. Uh, and I don't think we have anything special. Have we? 
go. We can go. Yes, we have a sort of uh, pet a day, sort of. It's a festival for pets. Uh, this one is for cows. And uh, you have to show your cow, and if you win, you can win prizes with your cow. But we don't have cow yet. Um, then we have those little, uh, not little, big hats, and they are cooking festivals. So you have to cook a dish, a desert, uh, a desert uh, entry, and they're gonna judge your dish, and you will get items if you have a high ranking. And we have winter, nothing special there. So we can go in here, we can go into the toilet. This is our kitchen, we can cook in the kitchen, but we unfortunately have no items. Yeah, we have a stone and we have a... Uh, we have a stone and we have branch, but I don't think you can cook with a stone or branch. <laughs> so it is basically, you can buy, uh, you can add things together and try to make a dish. Uh, but we don't have items to cook, so you can actually experiment with things, and maybe it will turn out good or bad. You can find the recipes on the internet, but that's yeah, it's cheating, but no. So here is uh, this place is for food for our pets, basically, uh, especially for our dogs and cats, because the cows will be in here, but I can't get into it because I don't have a cow, and. In the upper left corner there is a sort of stamina bar and that will indicate how much stamina you have obviously. When it's uh, when it's uh, when there is no blue left you're basically uh, sort of you faint and you will be uh, you will be sleeping on the ground and you will wake up the next day. So you have to uh, you have to take care of your stamina. You will lose stamina if you're sort of working, uh, you're punching with a hammer or you're running the whole time uh, but that's basically it you have a sort of basement but that isn't uh, isn't unlockable for us yet you have a sort of poop but that isn't very interesting yeah we have a bed with the bed you can basically save your progress and that's what we are gonna do now So we're saving now, and we should wake up. Look at the bottom screen. Every time you sleep, there will uh, you will start with a new day. Sometimes there will be people in your house at random, uh, but that's just for the sake of the story. Good morning, English LP. Question mark. It's Felix. Did you sleep well? I brought a present for you. I hope you like it. Nah, thank you, Felix. It's really kind of him. <laughs> What's that? It's a hoe. You'll need it to farm. Before you can use it, though, you will need to equip it. Just open your bag, then move the hoe to your equip slot. However, there's an easier way! Press the R button to see all the equipable items you currently have. Select the item you want to equip, then press the A button. Go ahead and try it, talk to me when you're done. You have to press the R button, and then you have to use equip this. Alright, is, is that it? Yo, here. Great, you were able to equip it. When you want to use it, press the B button. Now English LP, do you know how to grow crops? Hmm, I can't recall actually, so let's, let's, let's listen to Felix. Fantastic, guess, I don't have to tell you anything. Oh, I accidentally, I think I answered yet. Anyhow, we will be, uh, we will figure out how to do that. Add some turnip seeds, a classic spring crop. And water bottle. And here's a watering can. Use it while fertilizer. 
if I'm right. Fertilizer for you to use. Spread it on your crops while they are growing to raise their quality. You will need this stuff for working on the farm. Anyway, I will stop by again before the next bazaar. Try growing different crops and exploring the town a bit. If you run out of seeds, you can buy more from the store in town. Also, talk with the people in town. Don't worry, everybody is nice here. Well, I will be on my way then. See you later, English LP. Bye, Felix. So, how long are we recording? for 20 minutes so I want to end up this episode here 20 minutes is a long time and uh, next time we will be exploring the town and we will be uh, ha harvesting our crops in this field and I will show you some extra features of the game uh, so thank you for thank you very much for watching and see you next time I guess.